Gamer Money. Welcome back to another fabulous new Let's Play Tropico 4. Let's play. Said that twice. I'm sorry. Anyway, we got hotels here. We got stuff other places. Last and, night, uh, whoa. As I was talking to God, Presidente, as we all know, famous measure by the number of tweets who follow your every move. To become the most famous person on Earth, you will need to attract a million twits. I mean, followers. I'm not sure if it's referencing people or tweets. Um, gain a hundred, gain a million followers. Complete optional tasks to gain more followers. Final objective: complete the ob complete this objective to win the mission. Okay. Presidente. My organization is very interested in your efforts to develop tourism on Cora Libre. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, madam. As you may know, one of the goals of the UN is to promote economic development and stability around the world. If you can prove your commitment to the tourism industry, I can guarantee your both recognition and financial aid from the UN countries. I attract at least 30 tourists to reward $10,000 in followers per tourist visit. Cool. Well, we already have a decent amount. I guess we could attract them. And good evening once again, everybody. I'm sorry. I had to do that. Uh, changing the controller batteries was no simple ordeal. You see, I keep my batteries uh, not in my house. They are actually in my garage. And unlike um, the majority of American households, my garage is not attached to my house. It's actually on the other end of my property, which is about an acre and a half. And on top of that, we had about uh, two feet of snow yesterday. So um, getting those batteries was not a simple ordeal, but we're back now. So sorry about that. I had to get like all my snow gear on and it was... Um, this whole ordeal is annoying. All right. Um, so what are we focusing on here? We are focusing on building tenements. And um, let's get some entertainment up here. And we got some... Um, what else do people want? They First of all, we need education. So we don't have the same problem we had last time. So at least get up to the high school level, I would say. That way we can have the churches um, operating. So, these farms are put in a really inconvenient location. I guess we're going to put it all behind the palace then. Put uh, this high school back here in the shadow of El Presidente's glory. that there and then um, one thing we are going to do right off the bat is create a second one of these because one is just never enough and we're in debt again here we go <laughs> so we're attracting a fair bit of tourists are sick so we need these um i'd say we should put these education buildings maybe at the top priority geez if it wasn't for this money from miles de Hero, like we would get we'd be getting like messed up as far as econ economy economy econo the economy goes <laughs> don't build a shack there All right, 86%. Presidente, as your advisor and chief publicist, I've come up with a brilliant marketing scheme. All right, man. Here's a sample. It is said that he can read people's thoughts, even his own. What? <laughs> it is so powerful that he can control time itself. El Prez, the most awesome person in the world. You have gained 25,000 followers. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Pogutsumo. I know you always got my back. Alright, so they're relatively filling up, so we already we already need more housing. Congratulations, Presidente. Thank the you. The UN World Tourism Organization has listed Cara Libro as the most promising tourist hotspot in the world. Thanks. One more thing, Presidente. Recent UN statistics tell us that each individual tourist shares his or her holiday experiences with at least 100 other people. Just thought you should know. Keep up the good work. For now on, you will gain 500 followers for each tourist you visit your island. Is that actually true? Recent UN statistics? With at least 100 other people. I mean, 
and maybe in today, I mean, this is set in the Cold War, but maybe like today with social media, I can believe that. A hundred other people, though? I don't even know if I talk to a hundred other people in person every day. Huh. That's weird. Okay. I'll look that up. God does not need temples, my son. However, our faithful believers do. I tried to convince them that their prayers can I'm be heard just as well from a new pub. All right, so the market crashed, uh, and we need a church. So the problem is I don't want to create a church because we don't have the educated personnel to operate it. We so. plan to air a live reading of the Naughty Toucan, Miss Pineapple's favorite book for the children in the grad school. But it turns out that the book is not meant for children at all. In fact, many say that it would make an old sailor blush. So, they're not airing the book? Because, like, dude, that's, like, my favorite book. I'm a little sad. No? Can we fit something? Like, just something. Yeah. It's better to live in there than a shack. So... That grade school has been built. We have lit the children going and being educated in the ways of El Presidente. And uh, high school is in progress. Tourism is progressing fairly well. How many tourists have... Uh, 90 so far. Okay. So we're progressing. No more missions yet. Maybe we can build some more bungalows. To get some uh, more money. Just kind of like stack them back here. Like that. Just kind of straight across. And we'll make that like a cape. We'll make that all bungalows down there. That's actually, that's not too shabby an idea. Huh. I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. All right. Um. So we got like twenty-five thousand. Um. Is the high school operating at least? Yes. So we got that going for us. Presidente, why don't we allow those wealthy foreigners to just give us money? Let's accept some offers for investment in our island. It will mean more money in employment. Have new. Have three new private businesses on the island. We need a stock exchange to be able to accept these options. All right, so that's in welfare and economy, probably. Yes, requires a ministry. So that's got to be first. Put that right there. I like this mountain range right there. That's pretty cool. Let's have, have enough a party. builders. This stuff should be getting built. Like, I don't want to create another construction office, but that looks like it might be what we have to do. Just not progressing fast enough for my liking. There we go. Oh, the music stopped. Alrighty, for the sake of the economy, we're gonna quick build some of these. Spamming that uh, D-pad right now. We have the money to do it, we're fine. Whoa! Oh, dang it. The One earthquake building was destroyed. is over, Let's tell. Alrighty. We build it. There we go. Terrible news, Presidente. Isla de Haro has been hit by another earthquake. Really? It's that Chinese drill again, isn't it? Some miners have been trapped below ground again in light of this new disaster. We should not expect any more money from Oz de Haro. Fine. Just one illiterate or uneducated? Okay. Yeah. All 
All right, so we gotta get um. Following the destruction wrought by the earthquake, built. we have some good news for you. Tropical just set a new world record. Oh my gosh! No, no, don't say it. Yeah, they sure can. Here's hoping our next earthquake breaks our own record with a three-digit number. <laughs> That's not something you hope for. Numbers are very important. For example, the tourism rating shows how many tourists want to visit your island. Let me explain how these statistics work. Whenever a tourist leaves your island, we ask him questions. He was happy with the variety and service quality of attractions. Your tourism rate goes up. If she or he or she was not happy, the tourism rating goes down. But the attractions and hotels are high service quality and improve the tourist rating. Achieve a tourism rating of 50. I guess we already did. Yeah, we're ahead of the game. That's just how good we are. Bump fist. <laughs> So I'm beginning to understand the um, mechanics of how this um, this garages the, the garages work. So they'll go to the garage to get a car to go somewhere, but if they cannot get to a garage or actually a dock, they won't um, be able to drive anywhere. So it's not really how it was in Tropico 5, but I'm starting to understand the mechanics of it a little bit. Some people are protesting. All right. It's probably rightfully so. Alright, so we got the education going. I am gonna issue... Oh no, we need a Minister of Education. Yeah, alright. You want a church? My son? We could try. Alright, um, the church will definitely uh, help that though. Let's uh, put that right there. And stretch this road back. There we go. Cool! So we're progressing right along. Alrighty. So, that Minister of Education is on his way. Cool. Can we actually... I'm just curious. Can we do this? I think we can. Can we put a dock here? Oh my gosh. I think we can. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes! place that's not by the tourism area. Right there, and there we go, perfectly straight. And we will quick build that. And put a garage next to it. Boom. Alright, so this is uh so nicely we want to issue the literary program edict. The church is built and it has one eligible worker in it. Morning Presidente. Do you remember the promise you made last night? During our tutoring session? You promised that you would build a TV station for me. That was really sweet. It will improve freedom and learning on the island. And also have less prudes telling everyone what to do. Also, we'll give you one incentive to give you some sweet, sweet tutoring. Huh. Build the TV I don't know if I want to now. Okay. Um, we'll accept it for now. Presidente, sometimes you can become famous just by being rich. I took the liberty of checking your Swiss bank account, and it seems a bit small. If you want to attract more followers, you should work on increasing your personal wealth. You can use banks, childhood homes, and the special building permit edict to siphon money from the treasury to your Swiss bank account. I believe we already have that. 
Oh, it's in this mission. Okay. Then we will work on that. So, would that be an entertainment? My childhood home, right next to the palace, because that's how it was designed. That, and then I think the other one is a mausoleum. We managed to get the economy. Yes, we did. Thanks to foreign aid. All right, we don't have a shortage of workers over here anymore, which means we can build more. We're gonna kind of just like circle the coast right here. Oh, it kind of like extends the coast a little bit. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, so we got that circled. Now it's like kinda do one of these. Get it far back in there as we can. That. Maybe like in there somewhere. Nope, I don't think we can. I think that's like the extent of what we can do. Actually, uh, let's wait. Let's cancel this one and see if we can fit like two more in there. Oh my gosh, we're in debt. Okay, yeah, no more of that. <laughs> we'll we'll wait. Wow, this is earning a lot of money. What's our foreign relations? Just out of curiosity. Excellent. Why did that change all the all the way? That was a really quick change. Presidente, may your children be many and your camels always healthy. I want to discuss trade with you. Nah, uh, we can't do that at the time, champ. Sorry. Alright, so this is progressing right along. We're in debt, but, uh, you know, so are other great nations, so... Oh, uh, here, yeah, so that finished Museum building. Mission. How do you feel about being on display? Oh, it's great. Come and see us all. Aren't you a little old to be playing with dolls? Yes, so all proceeds go to the Swiss bank account. Snarky? Presidente, mass media is the heart of any good PR campaign. Establishing a strong media will allow us to run the propaganda. I mean, all the PR ads you want, Presidente. Build a TV station. So they want us to build a TV station, too. So... We gotta complete something first. So... Uh, what can we complete? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove one. No, we can't. Can we? I swear, there was a way to do it, and I think we already looked at this before, but... Shoot. All right, we just got to really increase the religious happiness then. Oh no, we can build the stock exchange, can't we? Um, well, for an economy. Where's the Minister of Economy? I thought we hired him. Education. Dang it. All right, that's all our money. Dang it. I think the thing I like about the tourism-oriented economy, though, is that it... um. Provides a, at least a steady stream instead of just relying on the dock exports. So, is that over there? Yeah, cool. Alrighty, so now we can, with that minister in place, um, just waiting on, I guess, a ship, right? Cool. Oh. While we're waiting on that ship, we are out of time for today. So, on that happy note, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to like and subscribe. Oh my gosh. We got a lot of stuff to do over here, but then we're going to save that for next time. So, on that happy note, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching, we love you. And please be sure to tune in for the next installment of Tropico 4. Peace out.